All right, hello and welcome to my second video of this 2014 Lancer ES. My name is Nathan. We're going to go drive this car now. Take a look at my first video of this car with a complete and total walk around. And you will see me show and present the outside, the inside, the undercarriage, the engine, and tell you all about the car and its history. Just going to walk around real fast so you can see the outside and see what we're about to go drive. Rally red outside, black inside, one owner, garage cap, non-smoker, absolutely beautiful no rust no rust no damage this car is absolutely about as nice as new as you could possibly ask for it's been extremely well cared for excellent service records excellent maintenance everything up to date brand new tires brand new brakes this car is excellent and awesome look how pretty the color is in the sun so if you want to see more details of inside outside there's a quickie of how nice the interior is take a look at the other video on my channel and you will see it if you like what i do please tell me please comment please suggest please subscribe and leave me any feedback or comments that you would like to i appreciate any and all of them i am an amateur indeed but i certainly like to do what i do and to present cars and talk about them and make content for everyone to see and watch and hopefully learn something from and I enjoy that everyone likes to see and watch them, but I love to hear your suggestions and your comments. Let's go for a drive. I mentioned on the other video, this car has the very most annoying seatbelt dinger. So if you want a young person to be in a car that they will forever be reminded to wear their seatbelt, this might be it because it dings and squawks at you if you don't put it on and it never stops. And even if you stop the car and put it in park, it still beeps. <laughs> so world's, this car gets the badge of world's most annoying seatbelt dinger, without a doubt. So easy to drive, smooth, steering smooth shifting it's a cbt if you don't know as i mentioned on the other video what cbt is continuously variable transmission on this car it is a six speed continuously variable transmission <clears throat> the steering is electric power steering so it makes it very easy to um, steer and drive and turn corners like it's just different it's different than conventional um, conventional power steering this is even easier smoother just more less effort to steer I want to take a moment and point out because I love Japanese cars and right in front of this Hyundai Elantra it looks like it's turning right there is an Acura legend one of my favorite favorite I'm gonna zoom one of my favorite uh, Japanese cars ever made, period. They should have never stopped making that car. Very ahead of its time, very cool. Um, I like to comment a little bit on other things that we see as we drive, and that's definitely worth commenting. But back to this, this is a current, modern Japanese car that does everything right and will keep your driver and your occupants safe, probably safer than the legend. Um, this car has side airbags all the way from the front to the back. This car has knee airbags down here for the knees. Um, yes, I am wearing men's Ugg boots that my mother bought me many years ago. One of the greatest gifts. So warm. Uh-huh, yep. <laughs> Figured somebody would comment, so I might as well go ahead and say it. There is a eco light. You can see that green light on the dashboard it says eco. I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, when the car is in its optimum economy mode, that light will come on, letting you know that you're driving nice and easy and saving the planet by burning less fuel. So 34 miles to the gallon in this car on the freeway. Um, I am going to take it out on the freeway, as I always do, so take a look for that coming up towards the end of this video. You can skip around this video, see this part, see the freeway part. <clears throat> 
go in this roundabout. See, even at low speed steering, like right here in this roundabout, it's minimal effort to turn the steering wheel. Very, very minimal. So very easy, very minimal. Great, great car. 112,000 miles on this car. It's barely broken in. I mentioned on the other video that Mitsubishi gave a 100, a 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty when this car was new. And even though it's outside of that warranty at this point, it still, to me, shows how proud and how confident that they were in their product to put that kind of warranty on it because why would you if you weren't sure if the CVT transmission was going to last, obviously. So I think that says a lot about the company and the car. It's quiet, it's smooth, it has simple, easy to use controls as I mentioned on the other video. I also mentioned when I said that, that some reviews of this car say that it's too basic, but you know what? Sometimes basic is good. Um, it may look like, looks to me as I'm watching, that this looks like it's flashing the information display. It definitely does not flash. That's just the camera picking up on, I think, the LCD screen. Um, car has Bluetooth audio, Bluetooth phone, has a USB port over in the glove box. Don't ask me why it's in the glove box, but it is. Um, uh, a lot of traffic today. Yeah. Um, car has brand new oil. Car has brand new tires and brakes 5,000 miles ago. 5,000 miles ago, brand new tires and brakes. Um, please hold one second. Okay. Uh, brand new tires and brakes 5,000 miles ago. Brakes, rotors, tires, serpentine belt, belt tensioner, alignment, uh, cabin air filter, all of that done not even 5,000 miles ago. So this car is ready to go, ready to drive, ready to enjoy. And it's just simple, easy, long lasting, economical, everything you could possibly want for a car for a first time driver or a young driver for sure. rides nice for a small car with a short wheelbase. It rides nice, it takes the bumps very nicely and well. It's comfortable, the seat's comfortable. acceleration when you need it. So I'm going to pause here and uh, go do some freeway driving. So stay tuned and we'll be driving on the freeway with the next segment. Thanks for watching. Be right back. All right, welcome back and here we go. We're going to go a few miles cruise on the freeway.
accelerating, that eco light definitely goes off. But then once you're cruising, it will come back up. said on other videos you take a look around at what you see on the road like the Acura Legend we saw earlier in this video that Acura Legend 
is the one we saw was probably actually I'm almost certain based on the wheels was a 94 1994 or 1995 so currently it's 2022 almost 2023 right now but anyway okay that car is call it 23 plus 5 that car's 28 years old and that's impressive it's almost 30 years old it's still kicking and screaming and going and it probably isn't going to quit anytime soon <laughs> so That's my point. If you look around at what's on the road still as you drive and you see older Hondas and Toyotas and Nissans and Mitsubishis and I mean granted there's some American cars too but you look around at what's what's withstood the test of time you're going to see a lot of Japanese cars a lot because they hold up there we are back at 75 miles per hour. Car is smooth and excellent. There's nobody behind us, so I'll hit the brakes here real quick. Drop our speed. All the way down to 50. Nice and smooth. No shakes or shimmies out of the brakes. Two liter four cylinder engine and a CVT transmission and not a huge horsepower number. I think it's 148 horsepower in this car. It does just fine getting up to speed, going back up to speed like that from 50 to 70 or 50 to 75. It does fine. It's not, it's not a race car, but it's also not a slouch. drive it nicely as I think I said in the beginning 34 miles per gallon original rating and I'm sure the car can get it 34 it's a pretty high number without getting into a hybrid car that's about as good as you can ask for out of a regular gasoline engine appreciate you watching once again I thank you and thank you to everyone and all my YouTube family and please uh, leave comments and suggestions if you like or ways you think I could improve I genuinely strive to make each video better than the next and more informative and cover more things hopefully help more people day here today but it is going to get uh, very cold very soon here supposedly so they say Hasn't been too bad today. We're going to get off here at the next exit and that will conclude our driving. Again, I very much appreciate your watching and anything you'd like to say, whether it's nice or not nice, constructive, hopefully, that'd be great. Uh, constructive criticism is good, rude comments are not not so good um, 
This is a fantastic 2014 Mitsubishi Lancer ES with alloy wheels and rear disc brakes. Take a look at my other video and you'll see me show it inside, outside, underneath, engine, tell you everything I know about it. But what a great car. Nice couple little options on this car with the alloy wheels which gave it the rear disc brakes and then the uh, upgraded Bluetooth audio system with the USB and the glove box. Such a weird place for it, but I guess I get it. Keeps it tidy. Um, wonderful, wonderful, one owner, well cared for car. Easy to see out of, easy to drive. Two complete sets of keys, remote start as well. These are the remote start fobs and then the original original keys with the keyless entry on them as well. Just a really sensible, nice, nice, economical and friendly Japanese car. I'm gonna get caught at this red light again. So um, thank you, thank you everyone as always. Um, until the next time, keep, uh, be well, be safe, and uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for everything. Thanks for comments and subscri uh, subscriptions, suggestions, all of that jazz, and I really do appreciate, and I hope uh, my videos help people immensely to know more about their car, to consider when looking to buy a car like this or looking to buy this very one. So thank you, and... Have a great day, and we'll see you uh, next time on my next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.